Welcome to The Personal CFO. Today we're going to be talking about cash management and why now is an important time to be making sure your cash is working as hard as it can for you. Okay, why are we talking about this now? Well, if you look back a year ago or even six months ago, the difference between your money sitting in a normal bank account and sitting in a savings account wasn't that much of a difference. And some might have looked and said, I don't know if it's worth the effort. Well, what I wanna talk about today is, given what's happening in rates, it may be worth the difference, and I would say it probably is. Okay, so let's dig into some charts. This chart here, shows the difference between the big banks, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and your high yield savings options. Now, as you can see, the big banks, shocker, give us almost nothing as a return on our cash. That being said, if you go all the way to the right, there are high yield savings options now that are well over 2%. And so if you think about it, and I'm just gonna use a round number here, if you've got $100,000 sitting in cash, and again, you might have 100 or a million, but just start adding zeros here, um, the difference can be dramatic when you talk about, there's really no difference. It's the equivalent of setting up an account online, transferring the funds, and then you're starting to accumulate that interest. You still get the same FDIC insurance, no matter where your money is, when it's at the banks or the high yield savings account. So it can make a huge difference with just a little bit of effort going from essentially zero to multiple percentage points on your cash. And you say, okay, that's a pretty big difference. What if we wanted to make our cash work even harder? Well, let's move and start talking about treasury bills and treasury bonds. So these are bonds issued by the US government. On the short term, they're what a lot of investors would call risk-free, air quote. Um, and what they just mean is the US government is not very likely to default because they could just print more money, right, to pay off their bonds. Okay, so treasuries, let's look at this chart. Treasuries a year ago, you know, you can look at the lines on the left, they weren't doing that great. In other words, putting your money to work in a treasury, you'd have to go out 30 years in order to get over 2% rate of return on a treasury bond. Well, where are we now? Well, you can be close to 4% on a one-year treasury bond or a six-month treasury bond. And so you can go from your, you know, your cash in your bank at almost zero to a high yield savings option, which is gonna be around two, maybe a little higher, and then all the way up and a little bit more work talking about potentially treasury bonds, where yes, you do type your money maybe a little bit, but for a pretty short period of time, you can get a pretty nice increase in your rates. And so it's important if you're managing your own money to be looking and saying, is my cash and liquidity working as hard as it can? And if I'm talking to my advisor, what are my best options to make sure that cash and making it earn the highest rate of return as it can, how is that working with my long-term plan? I hope you found this helpful. And as always, thanks for investing your time with the personal CFO.